Waddle, great strike by Tonga by Lowe. Pressure coming. Intercepted in the end zone. Welcome to Dolphins Today from the Baptist Health Studios in Miami Gardens. I'm Kimberly Bell, a.k.a. Kimmy B. Now, big news on Tuesday as the Dolphins announce they are placing the franchise tag on tight end Mike Gesicki. A second-round pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the 26-year-old Gesicki has been a fixture on offense for the Dolphins and already ranks third in team history in receiving yards and receptions at the tight end position. Very impressive, sir. Now, in 2021, Gesicki tied the franchise's single-season receptions record for a tight end and came 11 receiving yards shy of breaking that single-season record as well. The team also announced they've tendered running back Savan Ahmed and defensive back Elijah Campbell as exclusive rights free agents. Now, usually the offseason is a time of recovery and relaxation for most NFL players, but... Here in Miami, we encourage our guys to go out and learn something new about the surrounding landscape and culture of South Florida. Defensive tackle Raekwon Davis grew up in Mississippi and would spend a lot of his free time fishing. Sounds about right for South Florida too, right? But that could not prepare him for his day out in the Everglades with the crew from Max Fish Camp. Here's a sneak peek of Raekwon on the latest installment of Fish Out of Water. As long as we don't go fast, we're good. You do want to go fast. I can get you a close-up if you want. Close-up? No, I'm close enough. <laughs> I don't want to go no closer. <laughs> Man. All right, next up, let's kick back with a few coaches. We recently shared some moments from OJ's interview with assistants Wes Welker, Sam Madison, and Patrick Sertan, who joined Mike McDaniel's staff last month. To give you another peek into the conversation, let's listen to the advice Welker, who was added as the team's wide receivers coach, will have for his position group if they have some troubles in practice. Check it out. Yeah, and Wes, you know, you, you right now you guys are, are buddies because you're on the same coaching staff, but you know how it gets to be when, you know, when it's offense versus defense, you know, and you got loud Sam, you know, you got <laughs> Pat keeps it quiet and quiet at times, man. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? To, you ready to yell at these dudes, man, when they're, <laughs> when they're holding your, your, your wide receivers, nah, when Sam's talking trash the whole time, you know, about his DBs, you know? I, I, I'll probably be yelling at my wide house a little bit more, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, hey, don't let them hold you. Don't let them hold you, yeah, right? Let's go. You like, hey, right? you're going to get held in the game, man. Let's go. So, but, uh, yeah, but if – if we if we cook them one day, I mean, yeah, well, there's definitely gonna be some trash talking. Like that, that's that's us, man. That and that, I think the players feed off that, and I think it, it, it excites them. All right, Dolphins. Now, before we let you go, we wanted to talk some X's and O's with our very own Travis Wingfield, aka T Dub, in another <laughs> installment of Finn's Focus. And I'm super excited because we're talking about one of my favorite positions, the running back. So. Thank you so much for joining us, Travis. Good to have you back from Indy in the Combine. Well, thanks for the nickname and also great to be back. I mean, it was too cold in Indianapolis for me, so I'm, I'm happy to be back in the South Florida. Yes, weather. well, we're happy to have you back, like I said. Now, speaking of running backs, the Dolphins finished last season tied for seventh in the league with 85 rush attempts out of RPO sets. How do you feel such an approach benefited Miami's offense? Well, yeah, I talk about it all the time here on Dolphins today, so I apologize for the broken record <laughs> approach here, but creating conflict is key for this offense and any offense in professional football or football down the street at the Pee Wee field. I mean, it's all about mm -hmm. conflict for the defense and the RPO game can really help benefit the passing game by moving those linebackers and moving those safeties and creating passing windows in that second level. And it just kind of plays complimentary that way. And then Mike McDaniel talked about empowering Tua Tonga Vailoa and his skill players with run after the catch. And if you go back to San Francisco, they had three guys in the top 10 last year in yak yards. And if the Dolphins can recreate that mm -hmm. success here in Miami with the run game, that's kind of how it works together mm -hmm. and benefits both sides of the, of the offensive attack. You know, speaking of yak yards, I think all football fans can agree when it comes to offense, there's nothing better than watching the quarterback connect on that deep ball or watching a running back use their vision, find the hole, hit it hard, and end up with a big run, right? So what particular rushing attempt or attempts uh, stood out most to you from the Dolphins last season. Yeah, when you mentioned that, I'm picturing like the, the running back runs to daylight and the crowd all kind of rises yes. up and you hear that sound. And it reminds me of that game against the Jets last mm -hmm. year when Duke Johnson, in my favorite personal uniform, the Aqua on Aqua, mm -hmm. pushing the, the tacklers across the goal line for a touchdown run. Yeah. And you saw all of the 305 Nation, the Miami natives, just coming out of their <laughs> seats and getting pumped up for a hometown kid to have that big run. So that was my favorite play of the season from the running back mm -hmm. position. But you had multiple, you know, big time performances last year. 
Miles Gaskin a couple mm -hmm. of two touchdown games. Savon Aquin has the big play ability as well. So the entire running back room has some big play juice, but that run in the Jets game for Duke Johnson, that's number one for me. Not going to lie. I'm a little biased. Sure. <laughs> I'm a cane. I love when we get to represent for the guys with the 305 ties. So I'm glad that that was one of your favorite plays from Absolutely. last year. Uh, but I know we have a really diverse, talented backfield. So what are you most looking forward to seeing from the running backs position group in 2022? Yeah, you nailed it. And that's the modern NFL is kind of how guys can carve out their niche mm -hmm. roles and especially at the running back position. And so just seeing how these guys can really find their roles within the system. And of course, you know, Mike McDaniel is going mm -hmm. to alter his system to fit the player skill sets. But also, if you can excel in his system, mm -hmm. then you're getting the best of both worlds. So we'll see how that works, how it complements the passing game. And we talk about the, the RPO and the open passing windows. The play action game is a big part of that. And it helps create explosive plays, mm -hmm. both in the run game and the passing game. You can never have enough of those. So kind of looking for that. And then just more big plays in general. Who doesn't like big, more big plays? That's the best part of football. Yeah, I was going to say, I think that's something that players, coaches, and fans can all agree <laughs> yes. on. We love when we're clicking on all cylinders. So that's the end of another edition of Finn's Focus. As always, Trav, a.k.a. T-Dub, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us and sharing your expertise. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. I, I, the T-Dub nickname, that's like high school days, so you're bringing me back. I thank you for it. that. <laughs> then that's the name from this moment moving forward. Perfect. I'll take it. Okay, so one last thing before we leave. We wanted to take time and celebrate Tuesday's International Women's Day by recognizing all the incredible women who are an integral part of the Miami Dolphins, Miami Open, Hard Rock Stadium, and Formula One Miami Grand Prix. You all continue to push yourselves while empowering those around you and help keep this organization going strong. We see you, we hear you, and we appreciate you. And that's officially a wrap for Dolphins Today from Baptist Health Studios. We'll see y'all on Tuesday. Go Fins!